Yes, we are. So it's one of the best ways to get more energy, but no one talks about it. And that is getting good night's sleep and improving our sleep routine. This is something we're talking about in our pre-Christmas habit challenge at the moment. And you know, there's, there's loads of things you can do from getting 10 minutes of daylight, five minutes of daylight at lunchtime, going for that walk, getting to bed by a certain time, like saying I'm gonna to get to bed by a certain time, turning off all electricals half an hour before bed, sitting near a, new, near a window during the day, not putting pressure on yourself to say I have to sleep for eight hours and just tossing, turning and feeling frustrated when you know, maybe we should do some meditation at that time to know that that's gonna get some restfulness with us. No, write down your wins before you go to bed, journal, have a free drink rule if you like when you're drinking at night, maybe uh, have a few drinks but leave, maybe stop at that three, stop at that two. What difference could that make to our sleep later? Maybe give a bit of time before you get to bed earlier, maybe start a bit earlier, <laughs> not like that, rather than drink straight in through the night. Avoid a digital sunrise if you can. Um, first 10 minutes of the day, can you do something for you? Like not just straight to your phone, maybe journal, meditate, do some exercise, whether it's a one minute workout like we do so often. Just know that these can have such a small impact. Now, I have done a training on this, um, on sleep. If you want more, if you want to have a look at that, just comment below sleep, I'll send that over to you. But what's one thing that you can add into your routine today? And it, could be a walk and lunch, it could be some exercise. We know that and there's no better self-care than exercise. Throw that out there. Catch. And what's one thing you can do today? And, and like I said, I've, I've got lots of options that you can have a look at today. But whether it's getting to bed at a certain time, like for me, if I say I'm going to be in bed for 10, 15, I'm more likely to do it. I'm more likely to do it. And actually, by doing that, I have more energy. I'm, it forces me to start to shut down at a certain time. Like if I'm going to be in bed at 10, 15, I'm going to have to get in the shower now, I'm gonna to have to do this, do this, do this. I, might, I don't always hit it, don't get me wrong, but I know this is gonna have a massive impact on the next day, my energy to do the things that I wanna do. And you have to sell this to yourself. It's not just, oh yeah, I need to sleep, or I'm gonna meditate, or I'm gonna... I do it because of how I want to feel, and I attach that to how I wanna feel. I wanna have more energy to play with the kids, I wanna have more energy to do great workouts, high energy workouts. I wanna have more energy to, check in with everyone in terms of being a better coach, in terms of being better to be around in general. All of these things, I start to link them to what I want to do. And I'm actually thinking, you know, without that, I don't get that. So think you're always missing out. And you know, when I say to people, I'm up at uh, half four, five, people are like, Brian, what time do you get to bed? I'm thinking, well, in an ideal world, it's like nine, but it doesn't always happen. But it's like, wow, that's so early. And I'm thinking, well, I'm such a, early bird anyway, but what am I doing at that time? I'm normally scrolling away or something like that. So is that productive? Anyway, if you'd like to watch the full training, just comment with sleep below. I'll send that over to you. Have an awesome day. Have a good night's sleep and I'll see you soon. Let me know your one thing in the comments that you're going to do for your sleep today, for your routine sleep. And I'll see you 